And, and we always kind of go back in, in history and we talk about what happened in the late sub, uh, 1790s, early 1800s, getting into the middle of the 1800s and then the, getting towards the end of the 1800s. And we go back to 1883 and we had our very first electric strike. So imagine back in 1883, we're just coming around where we're getting AC and DC electricity to become a you know, much more of a common form where we're actually using AC and DC electricity. But now we have an electric strike that's going to work with it. And we've had some changes historically throughout time. Um, in 1886, we have changes to the electric strike. Let's go up forward now to imagine the, the 1976 time frame. And a gentleman by the name of Lee Hanchen, Hanchen Entry Systems, went and created the very first electric strike with the solenoid built within it. And I'm going to show you to I'm going to show you that in just a couple of minutes here. But historically, we've seen a lot of bad things that have happened with electric strikes, a lot of ugly installations that have happened over time. But we can also prove and show that we can also do very nice installations with the electric strikes that we have out there from the basic cutting into the frames and many different types of frames we'll talk about in a little bit. But imagine 1976, we took the, the first electric strike, Lee Hanchen took the first electric strike and he moved the solenoid from the outside of the strike to the inside of the strike. That's what really started changing electric strikes as we've seen it today, where we have very few strikes. The Folger Adam strike still has an electrified solenoid on the outside of the body. It's changeable, convertible in most, uh, in most models, but it's got a different purpose for it. So the Folger Adams still has a solenoid on the outside. Most other strikes, we've put the solenoid on the inside of the strike body. So with that being said, we have a lot of different strike options that are available for you. And one of the first things that we looked at doing um, years ago was creating some type of a selector guide that would help you understand how do I select proper strike to fit in a certain application. We have all kinds of frames, which we're going to talk about here in a little bit. We've got metal frames, we've got wood frames, we've got aluminum frames. We've got frames that might be rated, and I say rated, rated for fire, rated for windstorm standards. So we have different strikes that are available for you. And the guide we've created here, we hand this out in all of our classes. It's available for free download, uh, but feel free to go and grab that. But it gives you a lot of information on which strike do I need when I'm looking at different applications. We're going to talk about hardware. The existing hardware on the uh, on the door is one of the most critical items that we need to know and understand when we're selecting a proper uh, strike to fit in that application. It's not just about the frame; it's also about the hardware that is on it. So the back side of the selector guide really helps you understand what type of hardware do I have? Do I have a cylindrical lock set? What is the length of the latch? A mortise lock set. You know, does it have a deadbolt included with it? So mortise with and without a deadbolt. A Pullman latch. What type of Pullman latch do we have? Different things that we're looking for on the door frame and the door hardware. Critical items that we're going to look at as we start selecting the proper electric strike for an application. 